Paul is very hot. But the coffee in Peru is far hotter. <laughs> if you watch The Office, you'll know there's a scene where the character Dwight Schrute implements an over-the-top security system that uses steam to scare away intruders from a paper company. It's time we make that a reality and build a home security system that uses fog to scare away intruders. My fog machine by itself isn't powerful enough. So my idea was to create a reservoir of fog in this bucket, which I could pressurize with a leaf blower and force it out through this hose. But that didn't really work that well. So instead I used the actual hose as the reservoir and hooked up the leaf blower directly with a check valve. Next, we need a way to control both the fog machine and the leaf blower independently. The leaf blower is easy. We wire a relay to a standard outlet, which you can see here in this beautiful violation of the Canadian electrical code. And that allows us to control whether or not the plug and therefore the leaf blower is is on or off with the Arduino. The fog machine's a bit more difficult. I'm pretty sure, based on this switch here, that if I short these two pins, it'll be the same as pressing the switch and should cause the fog machine to turn on. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're doing a little outdoor soldering today. That's how the pros do it. Okay, this is like the world's shittiest job, but what did you expect from me? Oh, the grass is on fire. And there we go, we've made a smart fog machine. With the basics of it all figured out, we're gonna take this whole mess and assemble it at my front door. <laughs> it kind of looks suspicious, just a little bit. And the fog machine is currently heating up, so I think we should just give this a test. Oh. I clearly have it backwards, wired backwards for the blower, but that's fine, we can fix that with software. As people come up to my house, they'll be spotted by this camera, which is under here right now, because I don't want it to go off. And as they walk up, the camera will recognize them, and on the inside is my computer, which is currently running the server right now, connected to a megaphone. Now, it will ask them the security question, and they will respond here. If they answer correctly, the door is unlocked for them and everything is good. But if they answer incorrectly, then this will start priming with fog. So this hose leads all the way over to here. This ESP8266, which is an Arduino, is connected through Wi-Fi to the computer. And if there is one incorrect answer, this instructs the fog machine right here to start filling the hose with fog. Now, if they have three incorrect answers, what happens is it will announce that it needs to give the steam and then it will turn on the leaf blower, which is also under there, to force all the fog through the tube and out there. So let's see if we can make it work. But the coffee in Peru is much hotter. And then we go in. Hello there. The tea in Nepal is very hot. But the coffee in Peru is far hotter. That response is incorrect. Please try again. But the coffee in Paraguay is far hotter. You have one more try. The coffee in Paraguay is colder. I'm sorry, I have to give you the steam. Hello there, the tea in Nepal is very hot. Pardon? That response is incorrect. Please try again. Hello? You have one more try. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I have to give you the steam. <laughs> I'm not playing your games. <laughs> so it's good, but it's not enough fog. I mean, the whole point is to panic intruders with harmless steam. So I went out and I picked up two high-powered, high-velocity fog machines.
Really, it hasn't done anything besides make all of my Amazon packages undeliverable, but that's a small price to pay for home security. Thanks for watching, and if you're my neighbor, please do not call the fire department. They are still mad at me for the time I put a firework launcher on my car.